Come one, come all. Welcome to Lodestone's Magic Magnet Show. I am Lodestone, a natural and permanent magnet hailing from the time of the early Earth. Step right up and witness incredible feats through the power of an ancient force called magnetism. Let's call on a few assistants to help us with our magnetic acts. My fellow assistants come in different shapes and sizes like Bar Magnet, U-Shaped Magnet, Horseshoe Magnet, Ring Magnet and Button Magnet. What are magnets? Magnets are objects that attract or pull magnetic objects towards them. Some examples of magnetic objects are nickel paper clips, iron nails and steel coins. Some examples of non-magnetic objects are fabric, plastic and wood. For the opening act, U-shaped magnets will now show us a simple magnetic demonstration. Magnets like U-shaped magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. A magnet's magnetism is the strongest at these poles. These poles attract other magnets or magnetic objects from a distance like the iron nail over there. For the next act, to demonstrate magnet's magnetism acting at a distance, we have Horseshoe Magnet to help us in this demonstration. When magnets attract each other, you'll also notice that their unlike poles are facing each other. Now Ring Magnet will perform a simple trick. Aha! Uh -huh. It seems Ring here is floating above the platform. Oh! Button Magnet is actually under the wooden platform. As you can see, Ring Magnet's North Pole is facing Button Magnet's North Pole. And because the light poles of the two magnets are facing each other, they repel each other, causing Ring to float on top of Button. You can also see that even when Button stays hidden in the wooden platform, the magnetic effect is still the same. That's because magnetism can pass through non-magnetic objects. Amazing! Here we have a steel bar. Steel bar cannot perform any of the tricks because he is not a magnet. But he is a magnetic object. For this act, we will transform the steel bar into a temporary magnet. We can transform steel bar here into a magnet with a few strokes of this magnetic wand. I will stroke steel bar 10 times. Abracadabra, hocus pocus and voila! We have just magnetized steel bar using this magnetic one, which is actually a tiny bar magnet. And by doing more strokes, we can enhance the magnetic strength of the steel bar. Through the process of stroking the one in one direction, you can magnetize other magnetic objects as well. Magnets like a bar magnet can pass its magnetism to another magnetic object through the process of induction. Through induction, all of the magnetic objects in contact with each other turn into temporary magnets. And in order to enhance the magnetic strength of the magnetized magnetic objects, we can simply use a magnet with stronger magnetic strength. And for our final act, we will use the power of electricity to create a temporary magnet or also called an electromagnet. How do we do this? By coiling a copper wire around the steel rod and creating a circuit with batteries. Increasing the number of coils around the steel rod 
and increasing the number of batteries in the circuit will allow the steel rod to be magnetized into an electromagnet with greater magnetic strength. And that's it. That's how we magnetize a magnetic object. However, magnetism can be removed through a process called demagnetization. A magnet loses its magnetism through very hard impacts, like being dropped or getting hit by a hammer. Another method is by heating a magnet. So be careful with magnets so they won't lose their special powers. Thank you for watching Mr. Lodestone's Magic Magnets. All around you, there are magnetic wonders. The next time you open the refrigerator, ride a maglev train, listen to music, look at a compass, or even watch this show from a laptop or TV screen. Remember that all these technologies we enjoy have magnets in them. See you next time and goodbye! Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!